Okay, this is the first part in a series on Visual Studios, and specifically we're focusing on Visual Basic because Visual Basic is part of is part of Visual Studio 219. You can see it on the screen. I just wanted to show you first of all where you can download it. Just go to the Microsoft website or just type in Visual Studio 219 free download, and you click right there. I will tell you when you're downloading it, somewhere along the line it's going to ask you for if you want to load some other pieces. Go into the course on the it says code and go down and add in the help files. I can't show you that because I already loaded it. I'm just looking to see what else is in here. Let's see if it's here right here. No, they don't break it down. But anyway, <clears throat> so do that. So now I'm going to close this window. So we down, so I assume you downloaded it. <clears throat> and when I downloaded it, again, this is a clean copy. It did not show up on the screen. Ignore that. It's a book. So what you're going to want to do is go down here to start, type in Visual Studio, and then click pin, pin to the start bar or task bar, whatever it is. And uh, so here we go. We're going to start it up. This is going to be a shorter video. I'm just going to show you how to load it and a couple of basic things to start out. Okay, this is a, I, I played with it a little bit. Just going to remove that from the list. Okay, so create new project. We're looking for Windows. Forms, Windows Form Control. You see that? Now there's a couple of them. This one's in C. This one's in B. See the B right here? That's the one you want. So click that. Next. Okay, like I said, I played with it a little bit, so. Just gonna have to change the name and change it to uh, video one. If it's this box right here, if it isn't checked, yeah, place solution and project in the same directory. I'm just gonna do that so it kind of blocks out that. Create. It's uh, loading the program. Okay, this is what you should see. You might not see this. It might be like that. So what we have here is this. This is uh, as far as I'm concerned. This is Visual Basic because it's got visual controls. So what it loads, again, we picked uh, Windows Form Control. So here is the Windows Form. Here are some of the toolbox controls. Here's the Solution Explorer. Properties. Code lens. So again, this is starting at the very, very beginning. You don't know anything. Nobody knows anything. All you know is you load it. And now, what do you do? First of all, I suggest you go buy a book. If you can get one on 219. 
uh, a good one. I mean, there are different kinds of books. I, I went through it when I was learning. Some of them I didn't like. So I'll just uh, show you a couple things here. So we have a form, but we don't see any code. It's like, what do I do? So if you click this form, you'll see the hidden code. Here's the code for the form. If you notice it's called uh, user control one. This is blank right now. If we go back, we're at the form, the code is hidden. We have the properties that we can, all, all these properties that we can set, which we're not going to do in this video. Also, we have all these controls. I mean, you just look through, there's lots of them. I've only clicked, I've only clicked, I, I mean, I've only picked uh, common controls, but we'll just do one control. We're just out of that for now. So we're going to put a, a label, just click it. So now we have a label. We have a label on the form. So you notice now the, the properties is open the label, which means we can do all these different things to it. So we will uh, we'll click this, double click it, and now you can see the code. Private sub label one click sender as object. Blah, blah, blah. We'll get into that later. But uh, the few things I want to show you, again, you have to look at everything on the screen. So when you, there's a thing called a telesense. Let's see where it triggers. Okay, it's saying a sub is user control as an object. Okay, we don't know what that means yet. with events. There's also, you notice there's one reference for this. This is the form. That really doesn't tell us much. Global Microsoft Visual Basic. Plan here to show you what you, it doesn't seem to stay open. Okay, so we're going to close this. That's still highlighted, so we're still in label one uh, properties. We'll click the form. Now we're back into properties here. Now, <clears throat> I was saying when you loaded it to load help. Go to help. See, it says add or remove help. So we'll get back to that. But view help, you notice it says control F1. So I'm just going to, I'm going to click on my keyboard, control F1. It says label. We'll use that as our word we want to look up. What is a label? We'll see what we get. Hit enter. There's a bunch of choices here. We're just going to pick the one on top for now. It represents a label in the instruction string. The label is in con used in conjunction with it, i.e., generator. Also notice we're in that we can see. Let's see if it's any different in Visual Visual Basic. So again, uh, what I'm just showing you here is that there is a help, but there's nothing like a good 
food and book that walks you through it. So we're going to close this. Another thing I wanted to show you is, let's say that uh, you're learning and you want to you wonder how do I save this stuff? You know, if I close the program, I can't see anything. So we'll click. Uh, it's going to highlight all this. Just as a for the heck of it. This is where two screens can help you in handy if you have two screens. I have one, but I'm not going to use it here. So I have a couple programs. Like if you pick Notes, uh, Microsoft OneNote. I've already put some stuff down there, but uh, let's see if we can just paste that on there, what we just did. Mm -hmm. So, if you had a screen like me, you could drag it on dragging it onto my other screen. Which is well worth it. I think everybody should have an extra screen. And then I just minimize this, so it's always there. And I could add files to it, whatever I wanted to do. There's also, uh, Sticky notes. Let's see. I clicked it. I didn't want to do that really. But let's see what happens. Let's see if we can paste that on here. So you can make a million of these. So I'm going to close this. And if you right click on this, which is what I meant to do. Note list. It's still loading. I should have minimized it, I guess. So you can make a list forever. So let's say we were looking for a public. There it is. You can also put links on here. Let's see if the links work. Open link. I just clicked it a few times. Anyway, we don't need to see that. I'm just showing you that you can. I guess I can't minimize this. Let me see. I could drive it to my other screen, but I'm just going to close it. <clears throat> so we'll go back to uh, Visual Basic and we'll uh, go back to uh, where we started. See if we can delete this. Delete. It's gone. So open project solution. There are some of those plans. I'm just going to delete them. So you can just click it and hit the delete button. Delete button. Delete button. So, also, if you if you were working on a project and you want to come back and look for it, you just go right here, open, or you can go to new. So that's it for this video.